Hi guys and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. My name is Fran and today we're going to be looking at a colour grading technique to make your images into a cyberpunk, neon noir, blade runner style image. So you'll go from an image looking like this to this. So this is my starting image. Um, if you're going to do this technique, you really do need a nighttime image that has loads of lights of various different colours that can really help make this a really awesome cyberpunk feel. So first we're going to duplicate our background, which is Command J or Control J if you're on a PC. We're going to come up to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. This will allow us to change anything at a later date. I'm going to go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. If we look up here in the sort of menu tab, we're going to go to the Hue, Saturation and Luminance tab, and we're going to change the hue of some of the colours. Um, well, all of the colours. So if we take the reds, I want them to be sort of magenta colour. We're going to go for a magenta cyan feel here, as you saw in the final image. Oranges, let's boost them down to the reds. Yellows, let's take them down as well. Greens, I'll push them towards more of an aqua colour. Aquas are going to be cyan. Blues are going to be cyan. Purple, let's get some cyan tones in there. Magenta is obviously going to be magenta. And that's looking pretty cool. I'm going to click on saturation here. Maybe just boost that up a little bit. And luminance controls the darkness and lightness of a tone. So if we have a play around with these, we might lighten up the red tones. Cyan doesn't really do anything too much. So it really is just sort of trial and error. The main main point of this is really the hue sliders to get them accurate. I'm going to click OK. Now my OK window is at the bottom of my recording here, but just click OK at the bottom there. So we've changed them to the tones that we want. I can still see some tones aren't correct. So there's some green going on up here. There's some yellow here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to our adjustments panel here. And I'm going to go for hue and saturation. And then what we can do is we can select each individual color and change the hue. So there's some green and yellow going on up here. So I'm going to click green. And this is our hue slider. I'm just going to try and get that to something that looks somewhat decent. It might not at this point. We go for sort of an aqua tone. Move to yellows and change that to an aqua tone as well if we can. It might not work too well here. It's not working too well, so I will fix that in a second using a, a different technique. Let's try this section here, so red. Go for more magenta. So we can call some yellow over there. Let's see if we can change that. So that's looking a lot better. Now there's still this situation up here. So let's try adding a new blank layer and see if we can change that using a color blend mode. So I've got magenta here. You can choose magenta or cyan. I think because we've got some magenta here, I'll leave it as magenta. I'm gonna go to the brush tool, make sure we're on opacity is 100. I'm just gonna paint there. So that looks pretty good. Just get rid of anything that's spilled over. There we go. So we've just managed to correct that element there that looked not too good. So um, pretty much happy with that. I'm probably going to tone it down a little bit though. So we're going to go to hue saturation. I'm going to just bring all of the tones down just a little bit because I think it's just a little bit too overpowering. So maybe go for 25. 
and that's looking pretty nice. So I could stop the tutorial there, it's pretty much done, um, however I'm going to give it a little bit something extra and add in a few little elements just to bring it all in together. So um, I'm going to zoom out here, I'm going to take a brand new layer, I'm going to get my brush and make sure that it's on the highest size we can get there. And then I'm just going to dab a bit of magenta just there. And then we can always move it if we want to. So I'm just going to move that across a little bit. I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light. And it just gives it a little bit something extra and some of that colour pulls out into the into the fence there. I'm going to do the same over here, but instead I'm going to choose a cyan colour. So brand new layer there. Okay. Gonna change that to soft light. Quite happy with the position of that there. And zoom back in again. And I'm actually gonna add a few bits of bokeh or bokeh or bokeh, however you want to say, but it's essentially some blurred abstract elements. So I've got a couple of these from a stock website and I'm gonna take those over into Photoshop. So I'm just gonna right click on the background here go to duplicate layer and the destination is going to be my document which is that one there it's going to take it across okay so I'm going to add in a couple of bokeh or bokeh however you pronounce it <laughs> elements just into this section here and this section here so let's see We're going to take this element here, I'm just going to duplicate that as well and then I'm probably going to have maybe a couple of elements here as well. So I'm just going to put a mask on that one, I'm going to change my brush to black and then just get my brush here and just remove some of the elements that I don't require. And if you want to see what's happening in the mask, if you press Alt on your keyboard and click on the mask, you can get a better idea of what's going on. So I usually just erase everything I don't want, just in case some of the original image pulls over. Click Alt and click the mask again to go back to the image. I'm going to take the other one, again I'm going to put a mask on it and I'm going to erase all the stuff I don't need. Again click Alt and then your mask just to see what you're doing which is a great little tip. There we go, again Alt click on the mask. Now obviously the colours are incorrect. So I'm going to go to Hue Saturation and if you hold Alt and you see this little icon here, that just clips it to that layer so that only the colours will change for that layer. So I'm going to click on Colorize here and boost that up a little bit and let's go for Magenta because that's basically what is in that area there. Again, Hue Saturation hold alt until you get this icon that clips it. You can also press this button here as well if you want to clip it. And again colorize and um, let's go for the cyan tone, something like that just to give a bit of extra element into there. And I'm probably going to put a little bit of bokeh on some of the other elements as well. So let's see what we've got here. So let's try this one. Change this to screen again. Let's reduce that a little bit. I'm probably just going to put that maybe over here. 
Again, I need to change the colour of that one. So colorize. And then let's get a nice magenta colour. That's primarily what's over in that area. That's looking cool. I'm gonna get another one. You can copy and paste as well as duplicate over to your document. That's, there's plenty of ways that you can do things in Photoshop, which is always great. I'm gonna pop that one there. Again, what you wanna do is change the color of that. So colorize. Let's do a nice cyan for that one. And you can see because the original image wasn't quite black um, for the background, it hasn't merged well when changing the blending mode. So what you can do is you can add a lot of contrast to that. So click at that. And you can probably take the brightness down a little bit and you can duplicate that if you want to. Oops looking pretty nice. I might put one in this corner as well so let's try this one here. Copy and paste that one. Something like that. Just kind of doing this quickly to show you. It's quite important to give it an, uh, more elements to the image. Let's give a bit more interest. Let's remove some of that bit there. So that's looking pretty nice. I feel like it's missing some sort of lens flare, um, which may hit the, the umbrella. So I've got this little lens flare here. So I'm just gonna copy that over. Command C, Command V. Clip it. Gonna scale this up here. Gonna go to screen. I feel like it would probably hit there. Let's change the colour of that as well to a nice cyan, and maybe I'll duplicate that one. And Maybe pop it down here, but change it to magenta. Something like that. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you've taken away some tips and tricks today. If you have any comments or feedback, please pop them in the comments section. I always love reading those. If you want to see more from me, you can check me out on Instagram at Photoshop Fran. Don't forget to like the video and if you love my content, please subscribe. It's absolutely free and you'll be notified about my latest videos. As always, take care, stay safe and I'll see you soon.